Mm -hmm. Welcome back to the lab with Leo. Alex Lindsay, our good friend, is here back from Africa. I am. Was it a nice trip? It was fantastic. You travel a lot because in between now and then, the last time we talked to you, you were in Africa, you were in Mexico. New Mexico. I was in New Mexico. New Mexico. New Mexico uh, last week. Last wow. weekend. You travel all the time and you're going to Philadelphia next. That's, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so I got it in a couple days. I'll be in Philadelphia for a couple weeks. I don't want to say anything, but it sounds like you're kind of going downhill there. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Hey, I went to no, school in Philadelphia. That's, that's mean. That's, that's, that's no, mean. It, it was, it's... So you have always great pictures. You carry your camera with you mm -hmm. everywhere you go. And uh, sometimes you want to make one... Uh, make a big panorama right. out of your great pictures. And, and, and the big thing is, is that I used to carry rigs. So there's these pano rigs yeah, that they make. Special tripods, right? Yeah, and I, I brought them in a Tech TV years ago, and mm -hmm. we, would, we would put these rigs up so we would have... Because uh, you had to move the camera just so many degrees and, and, each time. And the time. camera had to be perfectly lined yeah, up, and, and yeah. you had to make sure that every pixel was just right, and right. The, the rotation was correct, and all that stuff. And this, now what I'm doing is I literally get out of the car, go, and I go, click, 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 click. Yeah, and then, I, and then I jump back in the car, and I drive away. Because the software's so good at matching that stuff up it's now. It's gotten so good. And yeah. I would say that it's gotten so good in the last three months. Oh, interesting. I mean, it just it's, happened. It's really happened with uh, Photoshop CS3. Okay. So there's a lot of great software. That Real Biz makes Stitcher, which is a kind of a high-end, what we use for our yeah, We've HDR. shown many of these programs, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and those are really good for but very just, specific they're things. They're one-trick ponies. Yeah, and this is, you know, it's just part of Photoshop. Right. And um, now there's a couple things that I did when I shot this. These are, here's a bunch of images you can see well, this here. This is a perfect example of what you'd want to do a panorama with. It's big sky country. It's, I mean, you're is, out there, yeah. you want to see the whole thing. Yeah, we were driving through Las Lunas, New Mexico, and, and, and all I did is I made sure that, A, I had my camera set to um, uh, manual. So because you don't want to change. change. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of figure out what will work everywhere. Right. And B, I use, you know, the little focus um, geometry that you see. There's, there's always, like, when you're using a camera. It's like a little tic-tac-toe field, usually, where right. maybe there's some pluses and... Exactly. Well, I, it doesn't matter what it is, but I use those, to, and I set something in that geometry on the horizon. So I just go, I want these to always be on the horizon. So you're very roughly keeping it at the same level all the way. Very up. roughly, but it's enough. Yeah. You know, because now you're not going up and down, and you're not trying to figure out where it was. It'll and still else. stitch it together if you, if you. Yeah. But it won't look. The picture won't be a straight picture. It'll it, be it like can be a, a little weird. bit off. So, yeah. and, and and once you have it, you can see all these images, and they and they look great, it's and they're beautiful. they're not bad by themselves because it's just right. a beautiful sky. Right. There's not much to talk about because all you do is you go in here and you say, I want to automate. And I want to do a photo merge. Well, no, wait a minute, no, wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. So how many pictures do you have there? There's uh, seven. And as long as they're all open, it'll just use them? Does it know which well, comes first, when you which open comes it up, second? You can do it. Yeah, it'll figure that out. So, so what, what it's asking here is, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. So if I This is new in CS3. We've done it before in CS2, and it wasn't this slick. Oh, no, no. It's, it's way slicker okay. in CS2. You were able to d use open files before in CS2, yeah, but, I remember. but it's not as smooth. So okay. I could browse right now if I didn't want to use this one as a pano. I um, see. But... I'll go to cylindrical. There's a bunch of different options. Uh, perspective kind of distorts the images to the side to try so to keep it. it would be a bowed yeah. thing. Yeah, and, and I don't really like that look. Okay. So what I like is I really like the cylindrical look. So that so weighs one bow long everything. print. It does what we would call a mercator to the, okay. to the thing. So What's that, reposition only and interactive? That way? means reposition only. I don't know what interactive does because I haven't tried it. But, but That's probably where you do it by hand, I would guess. Yeah, yeah. I think that oh, it that probably lets you fine be. tune it if you're having yeah, trouble. Right. Now, I have to say that I've shot a whole bunch. I'll show a couple more. I've never... You don't play with the other settings. I just go like this. I go, okay, I'm going to set this up. And, and you always use add open files. Yeah. So it grabs them. And I you have to put them in order, though, obviously. I had a couple of these open, so let me remove okay. those. No, no, I, it, it doesn't have to be in order. It figures it out. It knows? Yeah, it's it's going to look, you know, you just oh, kind of... scary. You, you throw them in here, and so then you say, okay. and So you just not care what... And then it just does this thing where it just starts flashing ooh, and ooh. doing cool things. It, it feels like one of those 60s computers. It's pretending that it's on. working. That's what yeah, it's yeah, doing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's showing because you... Because if it did it so too fast, it would... Now it's aligning select you based on it. content. So that's, what it, that's where it's doing it the work. It figured out the order. Okay. So it's, it's figuring out what it should look like, and it's putting them all together. Now, the other thing that it's doing is not only just aligning the photos... So, so now it's, it's not only aligned the photos, but it has figured out where to stitch them. If you look down here, if I, if I turn some of these off... So were you see, at a, a fork? See this, these are the... It's figured out where to cut it oh, wow. so that they'll match together. So it doesn't cut a straight line even. No, 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 no. no. It, it, it's doing something based, and I have, I'm still, I have to admit, kind of figuring out what, what it's doing. What the heck it's doing? But what I do know is in CS2, this used to be something that would be kind of a soft blend, and it didn't really work, and, you know, it was, it was kind of painful. Now, all you do here is you, uh, you grab the... You just, just crop it just down because you down. don't want the ucky... Outside part. Look at that. And then you have this this big pano, big sky pano, 
And and the thing is, wow. is that it's it, it, and, wow. and if I want to adjust, if I don't agree with it. Now, we are it, seeing a little – this is the cylindrical mercator you were talking about. It yeah, is, yeah, yeah. It has to bow it out. It wouldn't, right. it wouldn't work. Yeah, you'll see, it, you'll see it distorting at the bottom. Right. You know, down here. But it still looks – Wow. I mean, and this is handheld. I'm not doing anything wow. with this. You know, and uh, – and, Huh. And you don't see any yeah. of the old seams that you used to see, or, uh, that we got used it to looks seeing a lot perfect. of. perfect. It's this, and, and look at this clouds. I mean, that's where I really see it just perfect. And then here is, uh, let me see, I think I have another. Uh, this no, is, that would make a great print. Oh, my gosh, look at that. No, this is in Cape, this is in Cape Town. Um, this is Cape Point. And, uh, and so this is a really long one. Um, the, but, lo the more you do, the, the more the cylindrical uh, distortion occurs. No, it's just that you're going to see it. It's, it's actually the higher. Like the up and down. So you is took where you're the middle the, part. Uh, I'm taking the middle. You know, I'm just cropping the middle yeah, out so that, so that yeah. I get what I'm. That's you know what I'm looking spot, at. Yeah. That's a sweet spot. I haven't tried to do full sphericals yet, but but I'm told that it's. What would it look like? I don't, well, usually what will happen is when you do that is um, the very very top gets kind of this weird like wishy washy thing right, that if you right. put it on a sphere. When you pull it all back together, right. it looks correct. Right. But when you look at it flat, it right. just looks all smeared out. It's like one so of the. It's, it's like we do maps of the world where you. Right. Yeah. 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 So it's a. Wow, this is. It so is. Cool. It is truly. As I said, I mean, just just really. Uh, here's one from. Um, this is another one from Cape Town. And uh, well, you can see it raining on one side. Oh yeah. Clouds on another. Boy, are these dramatic. Some, you know, and, and and these were ones that I was shooting, and and I was trying to stitch these in CS2. And it was little artifacts, and things weren't working, and everything I else. Wish I wish Photoshop weren't so expensive. Now, does Elements do this? Probably not. No. Huh? You, you know, it, it does come end. with the standard Photoshop right. and with extended. I'm using extended, but right. all these features are available in the uh, CS3. In, in CS3. If you're it's, a serious photographer, it, it's expensive, but I guess it's worth it. Especially I mean, a lot of us spend like the money this. on toys, even if you're a amateur. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, it's, it's a toy. It's, 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 it's just a cool toy. You know, that is so gorgeous. It's really, uh, really, really exciting. Alex Lindsay, he's at the Pixel Core. That's where you can learn how to do all sorts of cool stuff in 2D and 3D and, and get a job to work. As a professional, that's what he does. If you'd like to know more, go to pixelcore.com. And we'll have more information on doing this uh, stitching at our website, labwithleo.com. Now it's time to zoom in. This is, a, this is the